Hey guys, I'm gonna bake today. Okay, guys, it is 6.30 p.m. and we are going for dinner at eight, but Sam and I were sleeping on the bed because of jet lag and I thought if I didn't get up now, I would not go back to sleep tonight. So I've decided to come get ready for dinner. I had a bath earlier and washed my hair, so I'm feeling very clean. And now I thought I would show you how I'm gonna do my makeup for dinner. So let's do it. So I already washed my face in the bath and put some moisturizer on it. So now to prep my makeup, I'm just gonna put some rosehip oil on. You know I love it. Oh, feels so good. Oh, my cold so guys, it's so bad. Yeah, I don't know if I ever showed you which rosehip oil I use, but it is the, what is it? Pure and Natural Rosehip Oil. Rosehip Plus, I think that's the name of the brand. But yeah, that's the one I got. And it's good, it's just all natural. It's 100% rosehip oil, so that's why I got it. Next, I'm going to take the Sunshine Drops, which you saw me do a review on. If you didn't, you can watch that video by clicking there. But I just take one and like, a bit pumps and I apply it all over my face just adds to that bronzy glowy look to my face I don't know why sometimes I just pat my face I feel like it just like warms it up you know when sometimes your face feels tense and you like want to be like <laughs> Maybe not, I don't know, but that's what I'm doing. Once that is all rubbed in, you guys may think I'm crazy. I know I look very glowy already, but the thing about rosehip oil I find is that it soaks into the skin pretty quickly, so it loses that uh, glowiness, I reckon, within like the first hour. So what I do then is I take this, it's called Lumi Glotion, it's by L'Oreal Paris, and I just take a tiny bit, like that, seriously that much, and I apply it to the high points of my face because I feel like this gives that extra glow and it maintains it throughout the evening and throughout the day. Seriously, like I don't even need to put on highlighter. After using that. I just watched the first four episodes of the Justin Bieber documentary series. I cried so much, I'm such a baby. I also watched the last episode of Sex Education in the second season, sobbed my eyes out. Okay, next I'm taking this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer and put a tiny bit under my eyes, a bit on my chin, a bit around there. <laughs> I don't know why I've been doing that recently actually. Okay, and then I take a damp beauty blender and blend it in. Okay, next I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. I feel like that's boring to watch. So I'm just gonna use this small little mirror that's in the bathroom and then I'll see you soon. Okay, brows are done. Next, I'm going to take this look at this it's insane like i've never seen colors like this before they use like marble and glitter and it just looks so so pretty um it says perfect diary beauty x so they've done a collaboration with this brand 
um, Chinese National Geography. So these are the palettes, they just look like insane. So I'm just gonna do a very, oh my God, look at these blues. Have you ever? I'm just gonna do a very casual, like I think, like a pinky glittery look. I'll just show you my pop palette. Reds, so gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna take this pink palette. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use, oh, this light brown as like a transition shade. Okay, and then next, I think I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna go in with the color underneath it just to add some depth in the outer corners. I feel like this is kind of one of those like Vogue videos because I feel like they're always wearing gowns and have this like bathroom lighting. Okay, next I think I'm gonna go in with this pinky marble color just to add some like pinky shine. Okay. That's the eye shadow done. I'm just gonna clean it up a bit at the bottom. Okay, so that's eyeshadow down. Down, <laughs> done. Next, I'm going to take ooh, some bronzer. I'm taking the Too Faced chocolate bronzer powder thing. I'm just gonna add it to my cheekbones. Friends are done. Now I am going to put on some mascara. It dropped on the floor and I literally just picked it up with my toe. I've got two of these. <laughs> And there's one that's more full than the other, so I just like to play around with both <laughs> till I have enough mascara on. Oh my god, it takes me forever to be satisfied with the amount of mascara on. <laughs> Finally, mascara is done skis. Now I'm going to go in with a cute Q chip with a q-tip and just clean up any mascara that got on my eyelids. Okay, now I'm a bit obsessed with glowing. I'm going to take this soft and gentle mineralized skin finish by MAC and apply it my cheekbones. You guys are probably gonna think, Sage, you're overdoing it, but can you really ever overdo highlight? I don't think so. Now, I think I have to apply some lipstick because of this bad boy. Um, yeah, I don't know, I've been trying to leave it during the day, but I think because we're going out tonight, I'm just gonna have to cover it up, so. I'm gonna try one of these out. This is like a really dark red. Wait, let me see the other one. Yeah, this is like more ruby red, and this one is more of like a maroony color. So I'm just gonna go really lightly because I don't want it to be like a hectic lipstick look. I just wanna make this look not so out of place. <laughs> so what I usually do is outline the lips and then just smudge it with my finger. Okay, 
this is my makeup look for the night. So, very simple. Nothing hectic at all, just a bit of a pinky eye and then a bit of a lippy lip.